Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And a big announcement today coming from Apple. I'm really excited to share with you guys the news. WWDC 2021 has just been made official by Apple. Now, this confirms quite a bit. Now, of course, judging by the title of this video, you probably already know what that is. Yes, Apple's operating system gets an overhaul from iPadOS to iOS to macOS to tvOS to watchOS. Every single operating system, this is the event of the year. This is the one that I look forward to the most and it's exciting to see a lot of these new features now in this video we're going to talk about what to expect when to expect and how to watch this event live now interestingly enough a little over 24 hours ago i tweeted out when will apple send out these event invitation for wwdc 2021 and 22 hours to 23 hours later apple announces the event so this is official information apple's wwdc will be held from june 7th through the 11th. So on the first day at WWDC, if history is any indication, as we've seen in the past, Apple will unveil the first look at iOS 15. So that is Monday, June 7th. And this usually happens around 10 p.m. Eastern time. So I'll have the links in the description for the live stream so you can watch it live. Most likely will be live stream. This is an online only event and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to watch on your iPhone, your Apple TV, your iPads, and you'll be able to see the first glance at iOS 15 iPad OS 15, Watch OS 8, TV OS 15, and maybe even new software as HomePod OS may get its own software as well. And of course, the Mac will also get its updates as well. So I'm super excited. There's just a ton of improvements that can be made to iOS. For iPad users, I'm hoping for Apple to add quite a bit of improvements here as well. The tagline is Glow and Behold, as you can see there. This is an official Apple website. Now, there's a ton that could happen here for iPads. I've been looking forward to actually have guest mode for iPads, where you can log in as a guest and use the iPads. iPads do get shared across the home, so it makes a ton of sense for Apple to introduce guest mode. It is a feature that I'm hoping Apple will bring to the iPad, one of the big ones that I'm looking forward to. Now, this is just wish list, not something that's been confirmed or anything. But yeah, guest mode is one of those things I hope that comes to the iPad. It makes sense. A lot of users want the widgets to be able to be placed on the home screen for iPad OS, just like we can on iPhone. That's not possible now. And of course, Apple will introduce a ton of new features and changes for the iPads. So I'll be covering all of the Apple software, of course, once it is available on June 7th. Everything will be covered here on the channel. I'm extremely excited to see what Apple comes up with for iOS 15 this year. This is the day, this is the big event, the one that I look forward to the most. I don't see any product announcements at this event. Apple usually does not unveil any products. It's happened in the past, but this is mainly a software event. So yeah, just expect the overhaul, the overall change for the OS for everything pertaining to Apple's ecosystem. And as I mentioned, even HomePod may get its own software this year with HomePod OS, as it was rumored the last year as well. Now, a few things that still can be improved on the iPhone and are rumored to be coming to the iPhone is different size widgets and interactive widgets is one of those things that could be coming to the iPhone. Improvements to iMessage, there's just a ton. If you wanna watch my wish list videos and leaks video, links will be in the descriptions for a few things that we've heard about so far that could be coming to the iPhone phone with iOS 15. That video will be linked in the description. But again, guys, it is official. A very exciting day today. WWDC 2021 Glow and Behold will be held on June 7th through the 11th. And that's when we'll see the first beta for all of Apple's operating systems. So there you guys have it. Let me know what are you looking forward to the most. iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, watchOS, macOS, or even HomePod OS. I would like to know your thoughts. What features would you like to see for Apple implementing into the iPhone? Thank you for watching this quick one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.